Hey everybody, my name is Chris Glenn and I'm a photographer and I'm joined with my guest, Melanie Barrientes. She's a professional photographer and I'm a photographer also. And what this show is about, it's about photographers picking their top five photos and talking about it from an emotional standpoint and also a technical standpoint. So Melanie, I'll let you take it from here. Hi, uh, as you tell me, my name is Melanie Valiantes. Um, I am a photographer. Um, I have been doing photography for at least seven years. Um, and this very first photo of me that you see here, um, my husband took it um, of me trying to capture uh, a picture of the moon. I'm very obsessed with the moon, always have been since I was a kid. Uh, um, but um, I really enjoy photography. Um, I didn't really realize I had an eye for it until my brother-in-law told me. And of course, here's the moon. Um, captured the moon with uh, an airplane. Um, to be honest, I didn't really realize the airplane was there until um, I took the picture. This is very hard to take pictures of the moon. You have to be very still um, because the moon, of course, moves. Um, and of course, while you're trying to take a picture, you are not able to stand completely still. Your body moves constantly. So when I took this picture, as usual, I hold my breath and then I snap the shot. And this is what I got. That's it's a really beautiful cool. photo. Um, my, it's my dad's favorite photo. Oh yeah, that's that's probably my favorite one right there so far. I mean, I like that's just really good timing, and like you said, it just worked out that way. And absolutely, and, and I I didn't even realize that the the airplane was even there until after I snapped it because I was so concentrating on not breathing and be very being very still to take that photo. Yeah, definitely. All right, we'll go to the next one. Let's see, what do we have? This piece here. Uh, this one. Oh, they were they were such a wonderful couple. Um, I actually met the young lady in the photo um, through a group um, where she was looking for a photographer last minute. Um, she uh, couldn't afford too much, and I was willing to work with her. Um, and it literally was a last minute thing. I met with her, she liked what she saw with my other pictures and I explained to her that she would be my first um, real official job. Um, went to the beach, I took pictures of her um, in the room getting ready. I took pictures of her getting into the bus that we took to the beach. Um, and then I took pictures of her at the beach. I had a <laughs> I had a hard time with the chance. There were a lot of people who were trying to take pictures while I was taking pictures. But this one is one of my favorite ones of the bride and the groom. Um, it was absolutely perfect. The sun was setting, the, the water was beautiful, and she looked absolutely beautiful in this photo. It's absolutely my favorite. Yeah, how did you go about scouting that location? Um, it's through this group on Facebook. Um, everything's free. So anything you post um, has to be free. You can't ask for money or whatever. And she was actually looking for a free photographer. But of course, nothing really is free. So um, when I got talking to her, I told her that I'll do this for you if you do this for me. And it all worked out. So Meeting with her was free. Usually, you know, meeting up with someone, um, you have to pay for that, um, for their time and, and such. Um, I did offer her a um, some free photos along with being paid for my, my time at her wedding and stuff like that. So that's how that worked out. And it was great. It was in October, perfect, perfect season. It wasn't hot, it wasn't cold, it was beautiful. Man, I couldn't imagine getting those pictures out there. About what time was that? Um, it was anywhere between 4 and 7. I don't remember the exact time, but I definitely know 
it was a pretty far drive for me, um, but it was a beautiful location. The wedding was beautiful. She was beautiful. It was just perfect. Yeah, that's... And they're still married, by the way. Oh, well, that's a good thing. Surviving COVID. <laughs> <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people are in surviving COVID. I don't know why. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, we can go to the next one. Did you have anything else you wanted to say about this one? Um, no, it's just that I really enjoyed that session. It was, it was, it was wonderful. Awesome. All right, let's see. What do we have next? The bridge. <clears throat> oh, I love this bridge. one. I, so many memories. I love that color overlay. Uh, Man, how so much many you... memories behind that. Um, it was 2017, um, which was a very, if I cry, I'm very sorry. Oh, that's um, no problem. 2017 was a very, very, very difficult year for myself and my family. Um, in April of 2017, um, I lost my brother-in-law. He, um, he died suddenly of a heart attack. Um, and then May um, 2017, exactly to the date, one month later, I lost my grandmother. Um, and then um, I went off to Texas because my mother-in-law needed someone to help take care of her parents and she didn't have anyone and she only trusted me. So I flew out. I was there for maybe two, three months. I couldn't remember how long I was there for, but I was there and um, her mother ended up having a heart attack. Um, they brought her home and she passed away. Um, and then I came home, I think it was about two, maybe three weeks later, my husband and I went back to Texas because his grandfather passed away. Um, and instead of flying back, we drove back in his grandfather's car. Um, his family, uh, gave us the car because of what I did for the family. And we drove back on our way out. I had my husband stop because I wanted to take some pictures of the railroad track. And I got several pictures. And this is actually one of my favorite ones that I captured. Yeah, that's and nice. <clears throat> so with that being said, that ties into that whole thing. Um, it was, it's a good memory, but a sad memory all at the same time. Because I got that little bit of time with his grandparents um, until they both passed away. Man, that's that's a short time span right there. <laughs> Absolutely. Gosh. Absolutely. It was, a, it was a very hard time. I, like, seeing this brings back little memories, like, when <laughs> since his grandfather had dementia, and um, he, would, he would go out, like, he would go to take a nap. It would literally be, like, a 10-minute nap, and he would come out, of his room and see me and he'll just light up and smile. He's like, oh, hey, it's good to see you. Oh, and there he is, his grandpa <laughs> and grandma. Uh, grandma, she loved the heck out of me. When she lives here in Orlando, oh my gosh, she, she, she was a little hoot. She loved to do, play tricks and she loved to go shopping. Her and I would go shopping all the time, go to lunch all the time until she went to go back to Texas to be with grandpa because that's who she really wanted to be with. She loved that man. And uh, yeah, I ended up there taking care of both of them. And unfortunately they both passed away in just two weeks what of kind each of? other, but at least they're together. And a month after my brother. Yes, a month after your brother. That is correct. Thank you. I'm heading to DJ. Okay, I see you later. Sorry about that. Oh, that's cool. It's cool. No, what kind of what kind of tricks were they playing on you that you can recall? <laughs> um, Grandma, she <laughs> she liked to call me over and then she she put her hand up like this and she go mm, like that. Oh, hold on. <laughs> How did they do it? How did they do it? <laughs> she would stick her tongue. Like, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Or she'll give you the finger, she'll put her hand up, like to um, my son, uh, which was one of her favorites. She would put, she'll go, RJ, RJ, and she'd go like this and give him the finger. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> that's cold. 
It's all good and fun. She likes to play games, but she likes to cheat, of course. Oh, you got to. <laughs> you got to. When you realize the uh, other person is getting better, you got to do what you got to do, you know? Exactly. She, <laughs> she was a great woman. I loved her. And Grandpa, his, his smile went up the room. <sighs> Like I said, it didn't matter how long it was. He would walk away, come back, and he would see me, and he would just smile. And we, and then we would sit there and talk about how he built the house that he was in um, for her. He literally built it from the ground up with his own hands. Ooh, nice. And uh, the house that he owned for that woman right there. Did you imagine? Um, Are you all that handy? And, uh, Did they pass that down huh? to you? Did they pass that part down to you? The handy part? Um, no, the house actually went to um, my my husband's aunt, my mother-in-law's sister. Um, they have they actually have two houses on that land. One belonged to grandma and one belonged to grandpa. Um, and my mother-in-law got the one grandma's house, and the other house went to Telma. Um, but it's still on the same property, huge property. Grandma Grandpa has several properties in several states, Texas being one of them. I believe Arizona is another one. Mm, I'm not sure where there is more, but they they were great. Grandpa and his stories, Grandpa and his stories. <laughs> he would tell me all about Grandma, how much he loved her. And then, of course, when she passed away, he would talk more about her. And then he would tell me that she passed away. And because sometimes he didn't remember where he was, he would tell me that he needed to go home. And he thanked me for allowing him in his home, in my home. And I would have to remind him that it wasn't my home. It was his home, that he was still at home. And then he would look around and be like, oh, it is my home. And he'll be like, okay, well, I'm going to go take a nap. Oh, man. He was a great man, great woman, too. And they love their grandson. My my husband? Oh yeah. That's awesome. Stories of him when he was a kid. <laughs> I'm I'm hey, I'm glad y'all got through that. That's a lot of grief to experience Absolutely. all in that small uh time uh, span of time, you know. Yeah. But no, yeah, that's that's it was cool. Hard. Uh let's see, what we got? Uh my wife is gonna <clears throat> gonna go crazy on me for airing this one. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, great photo. This is another big uh, fan um, of clowns. <laughs> I, there were so many photos that I wanted to choose with this because I took many, but I would absolutely say this is my favorite. The way my dad's looking at my son and the way my son is looking is so creepy, but a great photo. <clears throat> my uh, my family, since I can remember, have always been to Halloween. And um, my grandfather, he used to do haunted houses in his own house and uh, would have people come through the house where they would go through the, um, the car, not the carport, but the, uh, the porch, go through the kitchen, through the dining room, into the living room and back out is how the haunted house went. Oh. And when my grandfather um, moved away, because uh, my grandmother passed away in 95. Um, he <clears throat> found another woman, I want to say a few years later, two, maybe three years later, and he moved to North Carolina. So my, grand my father took over the haunted house thing with his house. And <clears throat> so this one particular with the it, um, my dad really likes to scare people and um, at the time of that photo, he had colon cancer. He had stage two and stage three. Um, and he wanted to do something different. And so we went to a kids park to where he could walk around and scare the little children. And uh, we would take, I was taking pictures of the interaction with the children and uh, take pictures while he's hiding behind the trees. And this particular picture was actually on a dock uh, and there's actually water behind them, <clears throat> which oh. was perfect. It came out great. Oh yeah, knock and tell. I love this photo. 
And, and if, if, of course, if nobody knows who they are, it is Pennywise and Georgie from the movie It. Just in case. Pennywise. That's what it. That's what it was. I can never remember that dang name. And Pennywise. <laughs> Pennywise. 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 There's too yes, many of these scary movies. And my son so is really good at doing the voice of uh, Pennywise. Oh yeah. Is he there? Yeah, he is. Have him do it real quick. Oh, I should. I should. Let me go get him. Hang yeah. on. Hi, Georgie. What am I supposed to do? Come back. <laughs> Nice. Thank you. I love you. I'm going back down. <laughs> uh, he's going to go off after this is over. He's I'm sorry? Go, he's going to go crazy after this is over. Yeah, you embarrassed <laughs> me, Ma. No. <laughs> no, that was a good accident. Yeah, I can't wait to show my wife this one. <laughs> she, she cracks up talking about Pennywise. I uh, saw you show a photo of my grandparents. I, yes, it's, oh, my grandparents. It's a very old photo, of course, because my grandmother passed away in 95 from cancer. But that is a really good photo of them. There's not many of them together, but yes. Her name was Shirley, but she did not like her name, so she went by Tony or Miss T. Ooh. And then my grandfather, he was Stephen, but he went by Paul. He still goes by Paul. <clears throat> Why Paul? Uh, it's just, what was it about that name that uh, that he wanted to, that made him want to change it to that? Um, his name is actually Stephen Paul Rust, but uh, he just went by Paul or or uh, Sarge because he served in the military. Um. But yeah, he goes by Paul. My grandmother, I I don't know why she chose Tony or Miss T. I just know that uh, she did not like the name Shirley, and no one was allowed to call her Shirley. And her middle name was Anne, so Tony doesn't even relate to her name. <laughs> no, Tony's a great name, though. Miss T? I know, I Miss, know. Hey, it's a pretty name. Yeah, I dig that Miss T. I would totally call her that. <laughs> Every time it didn't She's matter. She's a wonderful woman. Nah, that's awesome. That's awesome. All right, let's see what we got next. The number number one is yeah. Yes. Oh my gosh, I remember that day. It was my very first time using my camera, to be honest. And I went to this. Lake, the, well, it's not really um, a lake. Uh, I guess it's considered a lake. It's right down the street at a park um, that I used to take my son to when he was smaller. And <clears throat> I just happened to see this bird. So I thought I would zoom in on it to take a picture. And I, to be honest, I don't know what that is in its mouth. And I just kept taking pictures and after pictures. And it actually flew on the other side of the lake with that in its mouth, um, but I just thought that was an amazing shot of this bird with this thing in its mouth. At first, I thought it was a snake because I didn't see the little arms at first until later, and you can see it has little tiny, tiny itty bitty arms, hands. Uh, what is that? What the heck? <laughs> yes, I have no idea what it caught, but it was the coolest thing ever. That's some undiscovered stuff right there. Right? Ooh. That thing is huge. I don't and know. I just that thought it was a cool thing. Look at it. It's got little fingers. <laughs> that is kind of funny, though, with the fingers sticking out of there. It's like, help me. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, that's a good. Yeah, I like that. But we need to figure out what that thing is. I know. Maybe whenever we put this out. Somebody will say something in the comments. They'll say, oh, yeah, that's Maybe. just uh, so and so and so and so. <laughs> it originated from this and that and this and that. <laughs> like, oh, that's nothing. That's no big deal. <laughs> yeah, that's nothing. You know, we see those all the time. Uh huh. That, that no. bird is so pretty. And I just thought, you know, why don't I take. And then I think not too long after that, I actually caught a picture of a, of a gator. 
Uh, I don't know where that picture went. I'm sure I'll find it at some point later, but there was a couple things that I took pictures of that day. Um, but this one was definitely my favorite. Definitely, definitely my favorite. And where was this one at? I'm sorry? Where, where was this taken at? Um, Barber Park. Yeah. Barber Park. I didn't think that. Where's that? Yeah. No, 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 not Barber Park. Blanchard Park, excuse me. Blanchard oh. Park, which is right down the street from me, yeah. Oh, by uh, UCS. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a good park. It's a, it's got a nice, nice Absolutely, trail. as you can see, gators and all kinds of things there. You saw the gators? I yeah, I actually caught a picture of a baby gator sticking his little head out. It was pretty cute, pretty interesting. And I wasn't even trying, I was just taking some pictures and I actually caught the gator in one of my photos. Oh, so. that's cool. That's yeah. cool, yeah. I, you, gotta, you gotta send me that one. <laughs> no, that's cool, yeah. I like seeing those gator photos. Because it's, it's hard to, at least for me, it's hard to capture. For me, I can't catch the gators and I can't find the manatees. I can never find those two. I lived in Tampa for almost a year. And could never get a picture of a manatee. And if I did see a manatee, I never had my camera on me. <laughs> <laughs> it's always those moments when you don't have your camera on you, you see something, you're like, oh, I wish I had my camera. Exactly. I used to literally carry my camera with me all the time. And then at some point, I quit carrying it with me. I think it was after all that death I had in my family is when I kind of backed down a little bit. But, um... My mother-in-law was like, oh, your brother-in-law wouldn't want you to do that, blah, blah, blah. So I started to pick back up and take more pictures and stuff. And I had a friend who bought me a really nice strap for my camera. Um, it's, um, I can't think of what type of material. It's almost like, um, it's silky, so it doesn't hurt my neck or anything like that. And it's pretty and flowery, so. Yeah, that's cool. That's nice. You gotta, yeah. you gotta buy you somewhere. Um, uh, I think it might be in my room upstairs. To oh. be honest. Oh, well, don't worry about it. I don't want you to go. Okay. <laughs> I got you running all over <laughs> the house. It's like you got this. Bring this up. Bring that up. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you so much for doing this. Like this is. Oh, there it is. You can kind of see it in this picture. Oh yeah, see? yeah. The flower. Yeah, that, that's connected to the camera. Oh, yeah. That's nice. Yeah. It's a... Uh, I may send you the, the uh, non-black and white version so you can see it better. I don't know. I, I like that black and white, though. It adds that, that, <laughs> uh, that drama to it. Makes it a little bit more dramatic. Are you, are Absolutely. You, are you more of a black and white person, or you like to do a little bit of everything? A little bit of everything, to be honest. I Sometimes I like to do the black and white and then add a little color to it. Ooh, That's yeah. really cool. That, it kind of looked like what you did with the uh, this one. It looked, oh, yeah. like, it looked like you have you put like a certain overlay on it, like a certain uh -huh. color overlay to kind of add some uh, like drop. Made drum it look to it. like older. I. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Gives that realistic look, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It just it looks like it's a a really calm day, overcast. Good picture. Yeah, I like that one. I like that one. That's that's something like you would see in the movies when the kids are walking on the train tracks. <laughs> <laughs> looks like one of those. Yeah. But no, again, I appreciate everything. I can do a quick cycle through the pictures again. Thank you very much for doing this with me. Yeah, it's no problem at all. And did you want to, you can, if you have a website, you can say your website now if you'd like. Um, I just, um, I do have a website, but it's not really finished yet. But I do have my um, Melanie's Photography on Facebook. I have a Facebook page. So if you want to check that out, um, you can 
I just into that. I don't know if I just wanna. No one needs to decide. And uh, this is Helen awesome. photography. And again, ah, there you go. Hold on, let me. Let me um, try to the picture, the main picture, um, is gonna be of my son. Let me see if I can get it in there. Oh, so when you're okay. looking it up, that's the photo. Okay. Wow, <laughs> that's a cool photo. <laughs> Thank you. That was at um, Old Town, um, and it was Halloween, and you were allowed to, like, if you dressed up, you got candy and stuff. And they had this little setup in the back. It looked like um, um, a house or whatever. So I'm like, ooh, it would be fun if we went ahead and took some pictures. I have a couple pictures where my son is pretending that he is actually my husband in the neck. And then there's another picture where he's standing there in front of the door with the axe like this. And my husband's head is sitting off to the side on a um, um, ledge, like looks like he's, um, um, what do you call it, a pumpkin or something sitting there with his face. There's several cool pictures I took. And that, that one just happens to be one of my favorites. That's cool. That's cool. No, that's a that's a good that's a good way to kind of set that that scene up. And that kind of look. It I'll send you some right? so you can see. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say it probably it looks realistic. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, again, I I appreciate it. I'll I'll uh, end on this photo here. Melanie's photography.